Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. One of the most popular or frequently asked questions in a Kubernetes or DevOps engineer interviews is what is your deployment strategy or what are the popular deployment strategies in Kubernetes? So firstly, why you would need a deployment strategy? So if you want to roll out a new version of your application to the production environment or to the uh, users, you know, it is always safe and easy to roll back if you have a your own deployment strategy. So before we jump into the deployment strategies, firstly, you need to know what is a deployment in Kubernetes. So in a very brief view, if I have to put it in a very easy way, you know, Kubernetes has a deployment resource, which when you create it, it creates a replica set controller and which actually rolls out the pods, which are your actual applications. And you can also create a service for your deployment, which ensures uh, or, you know, which acts as a proxy for your Kubernetes applications. Like if you request whenever you uh, try to access a service, then service as a proxy to uh, access your applications. Now, this is a very simple deployment model in Kubernetes. You can also integrate it with an ingress resource. And what happens when you integrate it with an ingress resource is you can define the routing for your application. Let's say that you can say a uh, user has to only access this application on a specific domain and a specific path. So to achieve that, you use an ingress resource where you can say that if somebody is trying to access your domain using uh, slash login. So what happens is that user would actually access this login application. And if someone is accessing using slash cart your domain, he would access a different application. So this is an ingress resource and uh, to, you know, actually work with ingress resource, you would need an ingress controller and you have a lot of ingress controllers that are supported by Kubernetes in the market. Then these are the few ingress controllers that I've put here. So uh, typically what I wanted to tell you with both of these, uh, uh, you know, slides is that using ingress and ingress controller, you can actually enable load balancing for your Kubernetes cluster. And these are the load balances that are supported. Some of the load balances. So uh, this is important to know before you understand the concept of deployment strategies. And uh, if you want to understand this further, uh, I have already created videos on these uh, topics. You can go back and look at my Kubernetes uh, playlist. I'll also put it in the description. Okay, so if you go back to the concept of deployment strategies, know that you understood ingress and ingress controllers. So there are multiple deployment strategies and uh, some of the most popular ones are rolling update, recreate, canary, blue green and alternate backend. So these are some of the popular deployment strategies. And uh, if you want to know most or you know what are the popular deployment strategies that are used by the uh, community. So I try to put them in a, uh, you know, in a tabular format and I copied this from the container solutions. So these are the different deployment strategies and these are the different parameters and you can look at uh, how each of these deployment strategy works against these parameters. And this uh, diagram, I can tell you that would help you understand if you want to employ or if you want to use a new deployment strategy on your Kubernetes cluster, you can uh, take a look at these parameters and what are the things that you require and you can choose your own deployment strategy. So let's assume that you are looking for a deployment strategy that works with zero downtime and real time traffic testing. Uh, you know, you have all this deployment strategies that you can use canary ab deployment or the shadow deployment model and uh, if you're not worried about the zero downtime or the real-time traffic testing then you can go for uh, recreate model which is a very basic deployment strategy so depending upon the parameters that you require you can use any of these so uh, for the purpose of video we'll not be looking at all of them but we'll only be looking at the most popular ones okay so firstly Let's look at the Canary, uh, which is one of the most popular deployment strategies, Canary deployment. Uh, so what happens with the Canary model is that let's assume that I'm working for a bank and, uh, uh, you know, I want to upgrade or promote a new version of a specific uh, model. Let's say a transaction. Transaction is an application and, uh, you know, my developers have modified the behavior of transactions and this is the new version of the application. So on an ideal case, I don't want it to be pushed to all of the users at once so that you know even though there is uh, some sort of uh, disturbance or some sort of issue with the application i want to uh, have a easy rollback model so what i'll do is that 
I use a canary deployment strategy and using this deployment strategy, I would only promote new version of application to a percentage of users. Let's say that I can define and tell that uh, only 10 percentage of the users have to actually uh, be routed to the new version of the application and the remaining 90 percentage of the users have to uh, uh, I mean the routing has to go back to the old version of application for this point of time and when I'm comfortable with uh, and you know when I feel that there is no issue with the new version of application for the 10 percentage of users what I will do is that I'll increase it to 20 30 40 and eventually when I'm comfortable with the new version of the application I would make the old version of the application routing to zero and the complete routing from the load balancer has to go to the new version of the application. So this is a canary model. And uh, you might have understood like, uh, you know, how effective it is because uh, instead of sending the complete traffic at a time to the new version of application, you are actually sending out a ratio of uh, the percentage and, uh, you know, you are actually ensuring that, you know, your application is working in step step by step model and eventually uh, you are sending the complete routing to the new version of the application so this is the canary model and uh, how do you achieve this is i like you know along with the old version of application you also deploy the new version of application in the same kubernetes cluster and if you go back to the previous slides uh, here you use ingress to define the routing for your deployment, right? So basically you say slash transaction and user would actually be routed to the deployment uh, that is corresponding to the slash transactions. So similarly, what you do is that you create two different deployments here. So you have V1 and you have V2 and instead of one ingress, you will create two ingresses for this uh, new version of application that you're trying to promote. So you have v1 v2 and you have ingress v1 and ingress v2 as well now for the new ingress that you are deploying what you need to do is that you need to add this annotation so that your ingress controller would understand so typically these are the an annotations for nginx ingress controller and you need to go to the documentation of your own ingress controller to understand what are these annotations or how canary is supported using them but for nginx ingress controller you add these two annotations which says uh, nginx ingress kubernetes canary is true that means this is the canary ingress and you also define that uh, canary weight is 10. That means only 10 percentage of the traffic has to get the new version of application. So the Nginx ingress controller reads both of these ingresses and it understands that one is a canary ingress. And uh, what it does is it only, uh, you know, allows 10 percent of traffic to the new version of application. So it this is a step by step approach. You have version one that is already serving traffic. Then you deploy version B create a new canary ingress like I showed you here and uh, you know wait for the certain specific amount of time and if you see no issues then you can delete the canary ingress and what you'll do is that you'll delete the canary ingress and the main ingress resource that you have you just point the service to the new version of application and you, then you simply delete the v1 so this is the approach for canary model and um, if you want to try this out practically by yourself, then uh, you can follow this GitHub repository. I'll put the link in the description and go to the Canary folder. And then you can go to the Nginx ingress folder. You have the application manifest, ingress resource, everything. And you have you can also the follow the step-by-step -step approach to try out Canary by yourself. And uh, just to repeat one more time, this is the steps for Nginx ingress controller. And it differs from your ingress controller to ingress controller. OK, so this is about the Canary model. And then you have a rollout model. Rollout model typically is the default uh, model on your Kubernetes cluster. So if you create your local Kubernetes cluster or, you know, uh, out of the box Kubernetes cluster and create a deployment resource. Uh, by default, it comes out with the rollout approach. And in terms of rollout approach, what Kubernetes does is it's a step-by-step -step approach. Let's assume you have three pods. What Kubernetes does is it individually updates each pod with a new version. And uh, rollback is also supported with this uh, rollout model. So this is a very uh, basic deployment model and uh, it comes by default as I told you. Then you have blue green deployment model in terms of blue green deployment. What you do is that you typically create two different sites, uh, which means you create uh, probably two different Kubernetes clusters in different regions or, you know, you have uh, north site and south site or something like that. And what you do is that uh, in the 
north side let's say you deploy version one of your application and in the south side you deploy version two of your applications and typically you would uh, switch your load balancer to point to version two and in case your version two is not working fine or your users are facing any issues you can simply uh, point your load balancer to the north side which is serving version one so uh, what happens is that in terms of blue green deployment your infrastructure cost will be very uh, high but uh, the rollback happens very fast, very quick, because all that you need to do is that you just need to switch the point from V1 to V2 or V2 to V1. So this is the blue green deployment model. So these are some of the popular deployment models and similar to blue green, you also have alternate uh, backend model where, uh, you know, you create version B and you release it only to a specific set of users under specific conditions. So you can say it has a uh, probably uh, canary as well as uh, blue green uh, combined together. But yeah, AB is another way of your deployment strategy. So these are some of the popular deployment strategies. And if we go back to this picture, so what I would uh, suggest you is uh, go to, I mean, I'll share you this uh, presentation, which is a CNCF deployment uh, strategies presentation. Uh, it it has everything that is explained in detail, each of the deployment strategy and how they work. Uh, if you want to understand in detail, uh, this presentation is the right place for you. And apart from that, you can also try out all of these deployments using this uh, container solutions, GitHub repository. Let's assume you want to try out A-B testing. You can go to the A-B testing and uh, you can simply play out with this uh, deployment resources and each and every deployment strategy is explained with steps. So this is the right place if you want to try out these examples in practice. So uh, that's the video for today, guys. If you have any questions or if you want me to explain any of this deployment strategy with live examples, then please do comment and um, I'll definitely go through your comments and uh, we can create a new video for a specific deployment strategy. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.